damage to Grenfell Tower is seen following the catastrophic fire in West London. Peter Nichols Reuters, when a short-circuiting fridge transformed London's 24-story Grenfell Tower from a home for hundreds to a charred ruin, officials described it as a horrific anomaly and unprecedented blaze, in the words of the city's fire commissioner, the likes of which had not been seen in modern Britain. But now, after nearly two weeks, dozens of failed safety inspections and the hurried evacuation of thousands of public housing residents, Grenfell is looking like something else entirely, a dire warning. The blaze that claimed at least 79 lives residents say the true toll is far higher has prompted tests that point to an epidemic of flammable exterior cladding on high-rise buildings across the country. Of the 75 buildings tested so far, a senior government minister said Monday, 75 have failed fire safety tests up from 60 out of 60 on Sunday. Far from being an isolated case, critics say, Grenfell was symptomatic of a loose regulatory system that allowed as many 600 residential towers to be encased in a material that helps to spread flames rather than stop them. For the cash-strapped local councils that manage the buildings and for the tens of thousands of residents who live in them the revelations have brought agonized choices, evacuate without a plan for where people should go next or allow them to stay and risk another Grenfell. Everyone is absolutely terrified, said Kay.